Hi everybody! Today we're going to be making these super cute bottleneck vases. The supplies that you'll need are listed in the info section of this video. And the first thing that you'll want to do to make these vases is to section off two even pieces of clay, two equal pieces of clay, and make two pinch pots. So to make a pinch pot, take your clay, tap it into a ball, and once you have your ball, take your thumb, push it in towards the bottom of the clay, and then just rotate it around your thumb, slowly pinching from the bottom and slowly working your way towards the top. You just want to go a little at a time, squeezing and moving slowly up the side of the pot. And you want to leave this bottom part round. So keep squeezing. And then eventually when you get to the top layer, you'll leave it a little bit thick because we will be making two pinch pots that we attach at the top. So make your two pinch pots. And you want both pinch pots to be fairly equal and the same width around. So you might have to make a couple before you get two that fit together, but that's okay. So just spend some time making a couple pinch pots. You don't want them to be super thin. You want them to be nice, sturdy pinch pots. Okay, so I've got my two pinch pots. They generally are kind of the same size and we're going to attach these two edges together. To make it a little easier, if you kind of lightly tap the top of your pinch pot so that it has a flat level edge, then it'll make it easier to attach. And then we'll just use a little bit of water on the edge so that they stick together. The clay should be nice and soft at this point still, so you don't need to do any scratching and slipping. And then we'll slowly start to attach these. So gently go around and start to push them together. And it'll kind of have this lumpy shape. And then close over the seam with some of the soft clay. Cool, and now at this point, all of the air is trapped inside, so that will help the hollow form that you've made keep its shape. So now that the seam is closed over and the air is trapped, you can use your finger to just kind of smooth over any lumps and bumps and try to make it a nice, smooth, hollow egg shape. One tool that's helpful for this process is an old gift card or a rib that to help smooth over the outside. That's pretty good. At this point it will still be a little bit kind of lumpy and bumpy, but once it's not as flimsy, we'll be able to smooth it even more. So for now, you can leave it as is, or if you want to have kind of a little bit of a rolled shape, you can do this slightly to get the sides a little rounder. And help you shape it. Just rolling it on the table. And then we will need to let this firm up a little bit more before we start to add other pieces. So if you just lightly put it on your table or on a board so that it stands up, and kind of level it out. Leave it like this to firm up to leather hard. And once it is leather hard, so that means it's holding its shape a little bit better. And when you poke at, when you poke at it, it won't immediately collapse. It'll, it's just a little bit firmer. The outside starts to feel a little bit silkier, not as sticky. That's a good stage, and we'll come back at that point to add on the rest of the details. Now that your egg has firmed up to 
leather hard. You can spend a little more time smoothing it. It should the clay should be less mushy and a little silkier on the outside at this point. So you can use your finger and a rib to make it nice and smooth. This process is actually incredibly satisfying. Okay, looks good. And if you'd like to put a foot on your vase, you'll do that first. So to do the foot, rip off a piece of your clay, roll it out, and you're gonna make kind of a small donut shape about the size that you want the bottom of your vase to be. So big enough for the top part to balance on, but not so big that it just becomes a clunky bottom for your vase. Since we let this firm up a little bit to attach this bottom part, we will want to scratch and slip. So I can line up where I want the bottom to be, make a couple marks. and then scratch and slip around those marks. Now if you don't make a lot of clay stuff, scratching and slipping just means doing some deep cross hatching like this, wherever you want to attach another piece of clay, and then applying slip, which slip is just watered down clay. So to make your own, just take little bits of dried clay, add a little water and stir it up until it makes this kind of mud substance. And then to attach the foot, Take some of that slip, dab it on to the body of the vase. Take your donut and stick it onto that area. I'm just kind of wiggling and pushing a little bit all around. Use your finger to close over the seams. pinch so that it's level and sturdy, but so that it still offers a nice little stand for the base. Okay, so to make the neck of the vase, rip off a piece of clay and roll it into kind of a long skinny cylinder shape. Make it as even as possible. and then slice off both ends so that they're straight. Then take a long skinny tool, either a paintbrush or a pencil or something skinny that you can stick through the center of this and try your best to stick it right through the middle of the cylinder that it comes out the other side. This is kind of trickier than it looks. It took me a couple times to get it through the general center. And then once it's through, you'll slowly roll the tool so that that opening starts to get a little bit wider. And my tool is not ideal. It's a little bit wider on this end. So halfway through, I'm just gonna switch the direction doing that, it will start to open up. So now you can see I've got a hollow cylinder that will act as the neck of my vase. And if the top and the bottom are not perfect at this point, that's fine. Um, we'll, we'll clean them up later. But to attach it, take your vase and I just use a little bit of water on the side that I'm attaching just to get, make a mark of where you're attaching it. So I'm gonna attach it right here. Just kind of wiggle it a little so that wet spot shows up there. And then once you have it marked, then you can cut a hole in that spot. So where the wet mark is, is where you'll want to attach your piece. So we're gonna cut the hole right on the inside of that marking. So I'm using my X-Acto knife and just freehanding a circular opening. Okay, and then we're going to attach this to the vase. 
So using my needle tool, I'm just doing a little bit of scratching around the opening that I just cut. Put some slip in that area. attach and wiggle this top part to get it to attach. And now I think this is kind of an abrupt connection. If you like it, then you're welcome to leave it that way. But I like to add a little coil to this area to make it taper a little bit more into the vase. So I'm just scratching along the seam of the, the neck that I just connected and I'm gonna roll out and attach a small skinny coil to that area. Okay, and at this point, you can decide if you like the height of the neck or if you want to make it a little smaller, you can cut it down to size. And once you have the neck at the size that you want, the top is a little scraggly at this point, so I'm just gonna smooth the top and do a little bit of pinching to have it flare out a bit to get that you know, nice, nice shape on the top. All right, and there we go. As your form starts to really firm up, to an uh, even firmer leather hard. You can do more cleanup with a sponge and your rib. You can add in some carvings. The walls of these are usually a little on the thicker side, so that lends itself really well to carving. Or if you'd like to add these little handles on the side, all you do for those is roll out a little bit of clay into a skinny coil, and then scratch and slip the area on the mug that you want to, or not the mug, sorry, the vase that you'd like to attach them to and firmly stick them on. All right, and there you have it. In just a couple hours, I was able to make this. Oh, darn it. <laughs> well, I'll have to fix that, but in just a couple hours, I was to make, able to make this very cute set of bottleneck faces. Give it a try and let me know how it goes. Bye.